So here's our patient. She is a 29-year-old woman who is a 32 double A cup and would like to be a full B to a small C cup. So we're performing a breast augmentation on her today uh, utilizing 250 cc smooth round silicone gel filled implants. Let's take a peek at her uh, implants then we'll go to the OR. Here are her implants today. We're going to be using 250 cc smooth round silicone gel filled implants. I've got the high profile and the moderate plus. She's quite tiny, so most likely we're going to go with that high profile. And always bring an extra one just in case one drops on the floor. So here are her markings. We're going to make a little incision underneath each breast. We're going to put the implant underneath the muscle in a dual plane pocket. The incision is three centimeters long, just big enough for me to put the implant in and to be able to see on the inside. As you can see, we're going to put 250 cc implants on each side. So we'll get started with the surgery and I'll show you how she looks after we're done. All right, we are all done with her surgery. We did the breast augmentation. Everything went very, very smoothly. I put in 250 cc implants on each side. We ended up going with a high profile because I think that, that fit her diameter much better. She's definitely a little swollen up top up here. And what's going to happen is everything's going to settle and fill out as time goes on. I think she's going to have a really, really nice result. And we look forward to showing how she looks in the future. All right, we are now three and a half months after her surgery. Everything is healing really, really well. Still a little bit of swelling up top, and that swelling is going to come down uh, over the next three months. But you can see she has a really nice shape. And um, now that she's three and a half months, uh, really just small changes from here. Activity-wise, she can really do whatever she feels comfortable with. And, uh, and the scars also are healing nicely. The redness of those scars will go away within the next six months. I hope you enjoyed watching that breast augmentation. Uh, she is healing really, really well. Want to give you a few keys on how to do breast augmentation or how to have it done as holistically as possible. First thing, you got to go with a smooth implant, not textured. Textured implants have a risk of ALCL, a very rare type of cancer associated with them. Second thing is if you're considering breast augmentation, you have to be aware of the potential risk of breast implant illness. Not everybody does well with breast implants, and there are some people uh, who may actually develop certain symptoms uh, due to their implants like fatigue, rashes, muscle aches, and other things. So be educated if you're gonna consider breast augmentation. A couple other things to consider. Uh, I recommend Singulair for all of my patients afterwards. This is an anti-asthma medication that for some reason seems to lower the risk of capsular contracture or excess scar tissue. We utilize an implant funnel called the Keller funnel to put the implant in and a no-touch technique. This helps to lower the risk of complications like capsular contracture. Also, whenever possible, you want to pick uh, the incision underneath the breast like this patient had and you want to go under the muscle. It's called dual plane. By doing all of these things, you can hopefully have the best chance of a great result and lower your risk of any types of problems. If you're interested in watching another surgery on breast enhancement, take a peek at this one that we're showing you right here and you can see another patient go through this process.